To ensure Singapore stays an electrified destination in more ways than one, we have to reduce our addiction to plastic bags. It's not that we haven't been trying though. In 2000, Singapore recycled 40% of its waste. By 2010, it had jumped by 18% to 58%. But it seems we have slowed down since. In 2011, it grew by just 1%. The NEA hopes to hit 60% by the end of this year. The only time I ever do use plastic bags would be in that instance. Uh, just for trash. The key issue is to reduce excessive use of plastic bags. Okay. We need the plastic bags for bagging refuse. So uh, a lot of housewives do it, uh, a lot of people in the home do it. So for example, if you want to go to the supermarket, uh, you bring your own bags, the, your own reusable bags. For smaller bags um, that cannot be used for bagging refuse, then you should refuse them. Yeah. How about if the supermarkets actually gave, uh, like say, cloth bags or, or environmental yeah. friendly bags? I guess if you want to charge a uh, a fee for bags, then uh, you have to take into consideration the low and middle income people, the families, right? So one way is to offset their burden is to you know either give out reusable bags or you know, give them rebates on uh, necessities like cooking oil and rice, so that you don't add more financial burden to the low income families. Reusing plastic bags for trash is something that most households here already practice. Uh, normally, I put all my rubbish and I tie up and then put in the garbage. Use uh, using rubbish bag or when it's a really clean one, we have to bring it along. Sometimes we go shopping, everything. We can use it. I will use it. I will bring it to NDC. Usually I will do that. I will reuse the plastic bag. Uh, I won't throw it away. We use it at home for the rubbish, uh, for the home rubbish. Uh, yeah, usually like that. I think 90% of my plastic bags will be used this way. Usually I just keep it one side if I want to use it for uh, going out to put something in. So I would use it. Uh. Use it as a trash bag. I just put the plastic bag aside and each time I need a plastic bag for a certain use that to, um, to, to gather all the garbage in my home or when I'm just um, spring cleaning or something, I could just pull out those bags. I guess to just put in like clothes that you don't need at the while. Use for rubbish, you know, to, uh, then throw it away for waste paper basket. I do reuse plastic bag, but mostly, let's say, for my litters at home. I usually um, keep it in uh, the cupboard uh, using some kind of storage and then use it to throw rubbish. If my kids need it for their art and craft, then I may be able to use it. Like with many Singaporean families, we use it for trash. I think what we should focus on is if we can reduce it, if we don't have to waste it, can we do that? Can we bring our own bag when we, when we can? And uh, if you need to, to use one or two bags, I think not an issue, right? I mean, uh, we need to use the bags. I think a lot of us stay in uh, high-rise apartments. We use the bags to bag our refuse. So, so I, I think we can look at it holistically uh, and see where we can uh, reduce our usage. And I think bringing your own bag is one really good way to do it. Personally, I, I feel that I could live without plastic for, well, I guess for at least a week. I mean, I, I, I don't even use plastic much. I mean, it's a, of course, the dustbin um, maybe, but I compost a lot of my food waste. So as a result, I don't actually need plastic bags. If you want to do more than just use your plastic bag for rubbish, here are three ways you can reuse them. You can crumple up plastic bags to stuff your pet pillows, Cut up plastic bags to protect work surfaces from stains and spills, or use them as knee pads for gardening or housework. So get reusing and recycling Singapore, and you'll be contributing to powering the island for years to come.